Hey, welcome to the next Cutting the Caboose. I'm getting cheek filler. I've already had cheek filler. I'm getting more cheek filler, yay! Be warned, it's a little bit graphic. Yeah, see you after the intro. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back. Um, if you're new, please hit the subscribe button and click that little bell so you can be kept up to date with all the stuff I've got going on. I, I don't, but it'd be cool if you do. That'd be awesome. So look, um, as I've been losing weight, and regulars will know I've been losing a lot of weight, the fat from my face has been going, which is good. However, it's left my, it's left me looking a little bit sunken and a little bit drawn in places. So I've been having dermal filler to put that right. And if, a couple of months ago, I had some cheek filler and I don't think it was enough. So you can see it here. I've just had some more. And this is the video of me having more needles in my face. Warning, it's coming up in a moment. It's a little bit squeamish. There's needles, it's quite nasty. So you've been warned. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Here's the video. Hey, so we're back in the big room. Jeremy and Claire. Can we get some more? It's <laughs> like to the camera. <laughs> we're turning it up. Stop. That's no, this mess. mess. Can we? This is all CD. It's out of frame. It's fine. So we're back in to have another two. How many more milligrams are you putting in each cheek? Well, we're planning on putting in one and see when it went. Yeah. Um, one D and then one over the top of that. It may take two over the top of that to give you some shape to those cheeks because they're pretty flat again. But this is the thing, I'm losing weight. My cheeks keep yeah. shrinking. You're losing fat pads, and the yeah. fat pads are what will make your cheeks. So you're going to be rebuilding some fat pads, which goes against the grain and what you're trying to do, but that's the intention is to reshape yeah. your cheeks, give you some apples back, and create the OG curve, the feminine, Cheekbones. Cool. Before we create the cheekbones, we're going to create your apples then. So it's apples today, cheekbones next time. Awesome. Products we're going to use for Danielle today are to replace the deep fat pan, is ultra deep. Deep. When the flare falls over. <laughs> and uh, more superficial to shape is a new product that TSC brought out, RJ4, which uh, is one of the award winning what's, fillers of the 19... What's, what, what's the difference with different fillers and different product? The difference is the G prime, usually, and the construction. You don't want to know about that. There's, these are much more elastic. This is much more elastic than that. And it moves with the face, so you don't end up You've seen, everyone has seen the Homer Simpson top lip where the product that's been put in is too thick, too heavy, too dense. These have got a special range which is much more elastic and moves like a face should move. Watch Danielle has come in for more cheeks because we feel we've lost a little bit more weight and now we want to you haven't lost any weight. We want to weave, weave, it's a general weave. I've lost all the weave. And we yeah. are going to add apples to Danielle's cheeks. Right now we're adding apples that added in the act to make it, I think. Yeah. So where do you have it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but most people are not going to know who that is. Adam the Ant. Add Adam Ant off of Adam, Adam and the Ant. Yeah, they won't know. Like, hey, well, everyone knows what I'm doing the answer. What's going on? It looks like I've got like a map of moon or something. On my so, face. so these ley lines? Yes, they're the lines that we're going to... We can see where we want to create the, the greatest bulbosity there. There's to the create an OG curve, because your cheeks are supposed to be like an OG curve. So where these converge, will we find secret pots of gold? That, that is the part of the rainbow. Don't like this bit. No, oh, it sucks. It's got needles going into my face. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is just some topical, just so that it's going to be the entry point for one of the procedures that we're going to do. We're going to do two separate procedures. 
We're going to do something called MD code, which is we're going to lift with a heavier product each week, and then today, which we didn't do last time, we're going to layer something over the top of that just to create a nicer curve. So you have two different procedures, one with needle, one with camera. First one. Cheeks are slightly swollen. Is that, not, is, that, is that because of the stuff? They're going to be slightly swollen feeling because you've got anesthesia in them, which always makes you feel a bit weird. Really, it's just the odd little pinch here and there. It's really nothing. It's just a, because there's such little pain, when you do feel a little like, oh, it's a surprise more than anything. Yeah, you don't need to edit that. It's good that people yeah. understand that there is something going on here. Uh, honestly, and it really isn't. It's like, oh, you know, because there's so nothing usually. So there's occasionally it just surprises you when you get a little bit. And it's, it really is. It's not even like a, an injection prick. It's just a, oh, it's a, you know. Because this thing it contains anaesthetic anyway. The product has got an anaesthetic in it anyway, so as we are, as you progress, it's, it's incredibly bearable. It's far, far easier to endure than the dentistry is there. So the smile. Ah, look at that. We have cheek bumps. So, in the process, we've always decided to be cautious. Jeremy's decision, really. Yeah. Five just, mil, you don't want to I'm just saying, massive. go for gallons. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me up? So you come up against some resistance, but because it's not sharp cutting end, end on a cannula, it worms its way around the obstacle. Mm -hmm. So that's why you don't get any bruising or anything with cannulas. I was wondering about that. Because it doesn't cut the vessel. Yeah. You can feel it, it goes, could you do? Skids in, doesn't it? Yeah, and you've got to actually got to steer it a little bit. I can't steer it. Your, your skin is steering it more like okay. that. You know, I'm roughly getting where I want it to go. You encourage it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can see where it is because it's creating the. So how, much, how much more do you mind? I'm going to add another point five. Do you want to watch? Yeah. Give, give them. Oh, like, oh, actually, um, I thought I watched the video. I'm going to be in it. I mean, the last one they were nice, they were subtle, but they were a bit too subtle. 
Yeah, but we've got a lot of volume to yeah. work with here. You know, you haven't got a small face. No. So quantity-wise, okay. you're going to take a proportionate amount more than if you did Claire's, for instance. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah, wow, well, look at that. They've actually got cheeks right there. Mm. Yay! I can see those. Yeah. Even relax to that. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah. So next time, maybe see this cheek. This line with the you know the yeah. cheekbone is maybe bring some up here. Okay. So it does. It just brings the tapers this further round. Sure. But the amount of product that you take in each time. Well, well, it's going to get less because we're going to get more. Like it's definite there, isn't it? Yeah, it's definite great. there. Yeah, I can see that. Even when we relaxed. Yeah. When I smile, you pop it. Yeah. Yeah. Just pop it. I have new cheeks. Look at these. So the whole point of this, as well as to give my, my face some of its contour back, it's also like a precursor to the feminization surgery I'm going to have, which is known as full facial feminization surgery, or FFS for feminization surgery, which will help to reduce my jaw and give me the, you know, the shape I want. So the, the dermal filler is like a stopgap to get that going. So I'm having that done quite regularly, and I'm really happy. I mean, if I smile, look at those rosy cheeks. And it's only a little bit of makeup on there, that's only a little bit of blush there. So it's such an effective procedure. It's given me cheeks, but I can actually feel them. There's like little, little plums under my cheekbones now, which I think is awesome. I'm amazed, I'm amazed at just how effective this is. If I look at before and after photos of what I used to look like, I can't believe the little changes and there's so much more to come. In fact, I've just started doing a, um, a reaction video to my first ever video blog. Oh, that's not good. So that's what um, so that's what I've just had done. There's lots more of this to come. I, I, are you guys having, you know, treatment? Are you guys having any work done? Share your stories. I'm dying to know because I've literally got so much stuff that I want to do. So uh, so that's it for now. So I um, managed to take a few years. I'm nearly 50 and I'm, you know, I mean, I look in the mirror. I think I'm looking okay for nearly 50. So that's good. Maybe a bit of an old lush, but better than looking old, I guess. Like, subscribe, click the little bell, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you're getting something out of this. I know I am. I love it. <laughs> thank you, guys. See you next time. Mwah!